congratulations, mister. The Fast and the Furious, I think they say it's going to cross uh, like a billion like today or something, right? It just opened. It's the biggest opening of all time. It's... <laughs> That's amazing. It's pretty amazing. I mean, it's going to cross a billion today, like while we're yeah. sitting here. Yeah, I, like right now. You I... said you, you don't have a watch on. Did I you forget your a... watch? I forgot my watch. Darn it. Um, Can I use your watch, please, for a minute? She just wants you to have something of hers. <laughs> so, uh, so this is amazing because you didn't even you don't believe in sequels. You thought there should not be a sequel. Initially, that's uh -huh. true. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, back in in the '80s and in the '90s, if you sequelized a movie, you lost every chance of it being a classic or right. being something special. Right. And uh, so I I turned down the first two attempts for a sequel. And then they said, okay, you write it, you produce it. And I said, okay. And now we're here with the biggest. Amazing. <laughs> Only because of you. Yeah. Only because of you. Only because of you. Them and their good movies. It's a, it's a combination. It has to be a good movie for them to go see it and love it the way they love it, so. There's a, there's a, you know, People think of the explosions and the submarines and us outdoing each, you know, action set piece. But at the core, it's love. Mm -hmm. At the core, it's all love. That's, that's what makes Fast and Furious what it is. Speaking of love, let's talk about Charlize. So Charlize Theron, or, or Throne, or Theron, or she's so many ways Theron. to say it. Throne. So uh, there's a quote here. Uh, his character, this is about the kiss. Yeah. His character's just, she said this on the show, she is just frozen like a dead fish. And what? Yeah. What? Come on, guys. Do I look like a dead fish? Whoa. Die. No, that looks like a Connie Corso that's saying, don't do this in front of Letty. That's what that is. I know. She said. Yeah. Let me just continue. Okay. I want you to defend yourself. Yes. His character's just uh, frozen like a dead fish. What? <laughs> What's this? He's saying it's the best kiss ever. It was the most psychotic kiss ever. And this whole spiel about how lips don't lie, I like a little more movement in my men. Movement in your men! <laughs> Can I say something? OK, first of all, you don't, you don't come on to Ellen with the wonderful animation of Finding Dory and compare me to a dead fish. <laughs> right or wrong? Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. But I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> I don't know how that solved anything, but that's fine. All right, Ga Guardians of the Galaxy. You just started just like blockbuster after blockbuster, and, and this is the first movie, I think, is this the first movie your kids can go see? It's the first movie that that my kids can see, and it's, I took them to the premiere. And did they love it? They loved it. Did they know that was you? Could they figure that out? Well, my son was uh, part of the reason why I became Groot. Um, my son was, I brought home a book of concept art mm -hmm. from Marvel, and I said, who do you think Marvel wants Daddy to play? And my son picked the tree, and I was like, are you okay? <laughs> And, uh, and now, whenever we're driving in the country and we see trees, my son goes, Daddy, it's your brothers and sisters. Oh, that's adorable. That's sweet. I it's... brought my daughter here on this show. I know, I know. They love you, yeah. and they love this show, and they love Finding Dory, and they love you. Sweet as can be. Yeah, she was like three years old when she was here, I that's think. That's right. We were outside r racing tricycles. Right. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is out May 5th. We'll be right back.